Fantasy, what up? Could we see Tommy Tremble be trouble for opposing defenses this year? I think so. I'll tell you why. Going on, I watch Panthers Post Phil Perkins. Thanks for joining. Well, this is episode two of my ongoing series as we count down to training camp in Spartanburg. Where I'm going to talk about some existing Carolina Panther players who I think are going to be regular contributors and breakout stars for them in this year under Frank Reich and his brand new coaching staff. They're going to take advantage of it and really show their stuff to fans of the rest of the league. And the one guy who I think that, I, you know, I've been a fan of this guy since before he was even drafted by the Carolina Panthers, and that's tight end Tommy Tremble. I think it is widely known the, across the league, which, whether you listen to Move the Stakes or any other draft uh, podcast out there, that just for tight ends in general, whether you know, we see it all the time, whether it's guys like uh, Noah Fant, uh, you know, we're seeing it right now in Atlanta uh, with their tight end, the fact that, even though you can be a superstar in college uh, and you're a first round pick, you might not translate immediately to being a superstar tight end right out the gate. Like Rob Gorkowski, I don't think he was, a, a, you know, a stud as a rookie. He's a bit different. Greatest tight end of all time. But, you know, I think it takes a couple seasons for tight ends to really get up to speed because they're just asked to do more in the NFL, not, not only just blocking, but you're also going to be catching, you're running the ball, you're, re you're reading coverages and all that stuff. So it takes a little bit longer. And there are some guys out there who just can't, can't, can't grasp the opportunity, can't grasp what they have, and they just end up not panning out. But Tommy Tremble, I think, has the right attitude. I think he has the right skill set. I think he now has the right surroundings, a little bit more on that, to really start contributing for this team. Just drafted Tommy Tremble. I was a big fan of his game. I thought he was going to be... You know, a good contributor to this team. He's got the right mentality. He's got, you know, he's got a violent mentality. He's got a violent attitude, always very combative, looking to make contact with the opposing player. He was basically used as a block first tight end with Notre Dame. He was on the same team as Michael Mayer, who got drafted this year in the, you know, in the first round by the Las Vegas Raiders. And so, you know, he kind of took the offensive side. He was the pass catching tight end, you know, all world tight end. Tommy Tremble was more that blue collar guy. I like that mentality heading into the pros. And, you know, I heard from guys like Bucky Brooks during their podcast saying that, you know, if he was just taught how to do the other side of the position, whether it's, you know, receiving or running the ball, he could be a better pro than he was a collegiate tight end. And I, and I totally bought into that. So then when he got drafted by the Carolina Panthers, uh, you know, and I, if you want to look at the tape, I kind of called it that he was going to get drafted by the Carolina Panthers. He ended up getting picked up when did he get in the third round, 83rd overall. Uh, and I thought he was going to be, you know, Knowing my expectations for rookie tight ends, you know, I thought he was going to be a pretty good contributor, and he was. Statistically, uh, he had 20 receptions, 180 yards, one touchdown. To me, I definitely thought he showed some flashes, and he built on that in the second year. One less reception, 19 receptions, 174 yards, but three touchdowns. And mind you, this is with Baker Mayfield, and, uh, and uh, you know, we had uh, P.J. Walker and Sam Darnold quarterback. So, you know, and of course... We had the Matt Rule of it all. The fact that in the second year, he still had three touchdowns, you know, a little bit less in terms of receiving, like very little less, like six less yards in receiving. Given the fact that he had three different quarterbacks and he had Matt Rule as a head coach, you know, I thought his second season showed a lot of promise. And again, kind of the same with your tier gross Matos. I thought Tommy Trumbull could be a good trade candidate because I thought he showed enough uh, to opposing teams that they thought, you know what, we can get this guy and we can mold him to a, you know, and make him great down the line. We can pass a couple of draft picks to Carolina uh, in a trade. But the fact that they didn't let him go means that, you know, either, well, it could mean a couple of things, meaning they didn't, no one actually wanted him that much, or they saw something that they could build on it. And uh, I think that, I think that bet's going to pay off. Veteran, uh, who I thought has been great in the NFL, despite the fact that he's on his, I think is one, two, three, like fourth team, I think, in Hayden Hurst. I think Hayden Hurst is a great tight end. He's a, he, he's one of those, he's, he's a gamer. Uh, you know, I said that sounds, like, you know, uh, draft speak for, you know, the reliable white tight end, but he is a gamer. He's got great hands. He's great after the catch. And I think he can pass that kind of knowledge down to a Tommy Tremble, who, according to Tommy Tremble himself, uh, who told uh, Michael K from uh, the Charlotte Observer that maybe it was the Michael K, was it Michael K or was it uh, to the athletic Joe person? Either way, Tommy Tremble said that this is the first time in his pro career that he's being coached how to be a receiver, how to catch a ball. Whereas during the Matt Rule era, he was not taught to do that. He was taught to just run the route 
And then when the ball comes, you catch it. You know, you're 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 a professional athlete. You you've gone this far, basically, just catch the ball. Whereas now he's getting the fine tuning, elite level coaching that you know the 300 years experience on the Carolina Panthers coaching roster right now. You know, he's getting the bespoke coaching right now on how to be a better receiver. And I think that, uh, coupled with the fact that he's teamed up with a Hayden Hurst who has that game, he, he blocks, he also catches, he runs after the catch, he does all that stuff. I think mashed together, I think the light bulb can finally go on um, for Tommy Tremble and just connect it all. And I think we can have a mean one-two punch with Tommy Tremble and Hayden Hurst that is going to have to keep defensive linemen, defensive coordinators on their toes because both guys are going to contribute. It's not going to be like, you know, oh, Tommy Tremble's on the line. You know, this is going to be a run play. This is a jumbo package. You know, he's going to be blocking somebody. No, I think if you have him or Hayden Hurst or together or single on you know, on the offensive side, I think defensive coordinators have to kind of mind it, might look at Tommy Tremble, like, hey, this guy's going to catch the ball as well. And so I think he's going to have to keep defensive honest, defensive players honest, defensive coordinators honest. And it helps to have a quarterback like Bryce Young, who's going to be there. I think it'll be the week one starter. And God willing, he, he stays healthy. A consistent quarterback play is definitely going to help in that as well. He's an accurate passer. We, we saw the kind of relationship that Bryce Young had with Cameron Lutu, his quarterback in Alabama. You know, I think just having a reliable arm and a reliable uh, pivot, you know, uh, passer, point guard, under center, in shotgun for someone like Tommy Tremble, who's a big physical dude, 6'4", 250 pounds. You know, getting past a ball while he's still in stride, doesn't have to slow down, doesn't have to change his gait or anything like that, and just be an athlete out there, I think he's going to better him a lot. So let me know in the comments below. Do you think Tommy Tremble is going to be a force to be reckoned with with the Carolina Panthers? Do you think he could eventually, you know, have Hayden, learn from Hayden Hurst and eventually replace him as a tight end one for the Carolina Panthers? Do you think he's really going to mesh with Bryce Young? Or do you think I'm completely at the lunch and I'm a total homer and I'm just out of my mind? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but stay tuned. For the series i'm going to do this every single week every single week we're going to talk about a player who i think is going to step up